Okay, folks, it's time for our Wednesday video. And this week, uh, I want to dedicate this video to the guy that gets up every day, goes to work, and dreams about the Bahamas. Or for us, dreams about working on your boat in exotic places. Because we've worked on the, we've done actually a few projects. Uh, wait till later on in the video, you'll see me actually dive the bottom of the boat and pull a rope out of the prop. So check that out. It's later on in the video. Anyway, I go ahead and decide it's Monday morning here. You guys saw the manatee come up to the back of the boat there. And now I'm down in the engine room uh, replacing the packing shaft on the port engine. Okay, so once I get out of the engine room, uh, that's about all we do uh, Monday is just boat projects, getting stuff done and ready to move on uh, when the weather clears up. The weather didn't clear up so well, so we rented a car the next day and head on to Freeport and then do the whole island. Are you getting a little freaked out? Not yet. A little nervous? I got four drivers in this car. Jeez. If I make a mistake, they're going to be on me. Mr. Driver, can we turn up the AC, please? Yes, you can if we know how. Chief! Oh, oh, I got my own right here. Chief! I don't know if it works, though. Chief, well, I know. What do you know you're driving on the, Don't hit the dog, Chief. I'm not gonna hit the dog. Chief, talk to you. Why do I feel like everything's backwards? <laughs> All right. So we got held up for weather today, and so now we're going to uh, go uh, see the whole island. I think that's our plan. We're gonna go have lunch in Freeport. Right, I think I turned it up. Turn the air up. Thank you. This is a nicer car than we own, Chief. Let's not get carried away about that, but yeah. It's, Chief, it's pretty nice. Before we go any further, let's just see if we can get some gas here, figure that out. Do you know what side the gas cap's on? Yep, this side right here. After we figure out the gas thing uh, in Freeport, uh, then we head down the road and get back on the main thing and head over to Pelican Beach, which is almost all the way at the end of the island. Um, for uh, the finish the ride and then we head over to the local what they call cost I called it a Costco it had Kirkland project pro products in there and everything but you guys can see for yourself here after we leave Pelican Beach <laughs> like the Costco of the Bahamas. $33 for a pack of hot dogs. So when we get back from uh, the store and the ride, it was a actually pretty awesome watching all that kiko wants to play a game of chess he thinks he could beat me in chess but it just didn't work out for him this day i think i beat him uh twice and then we draw on the last one got late it got almost 10 o'clock at night before we stopped playing chess let's play one more, one more? yeah all right one more can you move a little fast oh you're all clear you're all clear know when you're on. Huh? Watch my back end there. And let me know when that back end's clear.
engine forward reverse, now both engines full forward. Today we're heading over to Great Sail K. That's where we're heading today. That's where we'll anchor for tonight. Um, these wet, these conditions, uh, they are not the perfect perfect conditions, but they're not bad today. Hopefully it holds up to just like this. We're in probably about one to twos right now. Possible threes, that's what it said in the report. So yesterday was four footers, so that's why we didn't go. And it's going to be about a six hour run right from here uh, over to, to there. Um, but everything seems to be running good. Uh, do a report here in about another hour. Made it over to uh, Great Sail K. A couple of few boats in the anchorage here. We just had a bird flying there. I hope you guys saw it. I've got to go take the drone over to the beach and see if I can get off and see if I can fix it. We'll probably do that in a little while when the sun goes down a little bit. Pete's pulling the anchor. Today we're going over to Pensacola K. Was that anchor stuck, Chief? Oh, it's right here. No, I'd say it wasn't stuck in the sand good. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is the great style key. Um, I didn't see any beaches and it was uh, hard to get on land. Um, so we didn't go over there uh, and even try it. Okay, okay folks, so I just want to give you kind of my morning routine of what I'm doing here. Is What I do is I come down here, my tacks aren't working upstairs, so I come down here, check the tacks. I'm sitting here right at 1650 RPMs. I turn uh, the sink on, make sure both engines are sync, and what I'm looking for is that green light in the center there and see how the both red lights, so that means the boat sunk, throttles are set, and this is our cruise speed for the day. Next thing I do in the morning is I turn the water maker on, because when the boat's moving, we're making water. So I get my bucket set in place, and then I go ahead and turn the water maker on, and uh, which we'll do here. Anything under 500 is drinking water. Alright, so I'll set my timer for about 10 minutes and then switch the water to start filling the tanks. And this is just our fresh water, so when we get to the, wherever we're going today, we can use that to rinse the boat down. Get Pete to set the fishing lines out, and we're set for the day. You got a fish? Oh, yeah. Fish on! Little one. Oh. Pull over here and go snorkeling. We're in uh, Marine K. 
All right, guys, so we went snorkeling, and I found out that I got a piece of rope in the prop here. So we deal with that later on. You'll see that in the video. But today, uh, right now, we're at Marina, uh, where we, um, K, where we uh, stop and snorkel for a few minutes before heading across the bay over to um, Pensacola, K, uh, which is where we stop for the night. And I actually take the drone off and um, take some pictures uh, with the drone. So you'll see that here in a minute. Finally made it to the beach. Okay, so I finally take the drone up. I'm just not good at flying the drone, so um, it scares me a little bit. And the thing was expensive, and I don't want to lose it. But here you can see just how crystal clear the water is here. Just absolutely gorgeous before the sun sets here in um, Pensacola Cay. All right, trying to move, time to move on. We're gonna to go to Man of War today. I think is the name of that. Chief's got the anchor up. literally in the albacos now and you see like all this island chain right here that's the main island right there and on the other side over here no this is the main island i think the main island's over, over a little further yeah and then these are all the outside islands and uh, you, we just passed Ke kenny chesna's island a second ago uh, a lot of these islands are privately owned there's gypsy right in front of us and you can see like literally there's islands and islands we're just running right down the center of these islands right now tonight i think we're stopping in uh manjack So this is a man jack over here and this is where we're going to probably anchor for tonight. All these are just little short hops now. So I take the board out, uh, first thing we drop them and then we head over to, be to the beach. Pete still can't stand up on his board. Uh, I don't know why, he lost it. He lost that loving feeling or something. Anyway, we uh, head over here and wait till you see what happens next. I did. You walk right off the board. So it was very cool playing with the stingrays. And then you can see right here in the back, you can see the sharks come in. And that was, that was so cool. You could like, we can literally step in the water and the stingrays would just walk right up to you and you just stand still and they'll just come right around you. It was absolutely gorgeous and cool. The old saying is, get to work on boats in exotic places. That's what this is, Chief. <laughs> Calm down. Savage. We gotta get some new bottom paint on this thing. Once you lose the zinc in your bottom paint, then the, the barnacles will start coming. We're starting to get them, so it's easy just to scrape them off right now. Ugh. Wish I didn't have the swim deck on here today. 
Yeah. All right, Kevin's getting ready to go down and cut some. There's a line under prop, so we got these little mini tanks to help so you can get under there for a few minutes. The GoPro camera went over. The GoPro camera went over. Okay, folks, so we're going to end this week's video here in Manjac, K. Uh, I think it's a pretty popular destination that you achieve because there's been a lot of uh, tour boats and stuff like that that's come in here. Yeah. And today, uh, later on, I'm going to try and surf one of these waves on one of the hard boards. Uh, what do you think of that? <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it a try. I can't even get you to stand up. Yeah, I lost it. I don't know how he lost it, but since he fell over there and... Uh, Marathon. Marathon. Yeah, I just can't get him. I mean, he'll get out here and he'll try, but he just can't stand up on the board. Anyway, this week we dedicated the videos to all you guys. That guy that sits at that desk or gal that sits at that desk all day long dreaming about uh, coming out here to the Bahamas. Well, I can tell you, I don't know about Kiko here, but it's rugged out here, huh, Kiko? Yeah. It's, you got to be prepared. Uh, you know, uh, you guys know the the story on this boat right here. I mean, we put it together and we spent years putting it together now. And it just didn't happen overnight. And, uh, you know, you got to be Boy Scout prepared because it's, I mean, this is like Captain Ron, El Kareem, and uh, this is the real deal out here. Yeah. There, there's nobody really out here to help you at all. No. I mean, when I took my fall the other day, about a week ago, all I could think of is uh, there's nothing I can do. It, it, this is what it is. But luckily, everything turned out fine. And, yeah. And so, but, but it's just to, you know, the heads up are be prepared, uh, get your boat ready, have your provisions ready. Uh, it's been so nice to be able to make water on the boat yeah. and uh, you know, we don't have to conserve water now. We, you saw that in the video, we're making it, uh, not every day, but I make yeah. it most days. I make water when we're, when we're moving. Yeah. Um, but it's, you know, for you guys out there dreaming it, uh, you can dream it. And uh, we're, we are the, channel that you know puts the reality to you know that you don't have to you know this is a rich man's game there's no question about that uh, and don't put, don't kid yourself out here it's very very expensive but even in the bombings we've only spent less than a thousand dollars been here for a week uh we've been total now since january 15th we've been completely off grid and we've only been in the marinas for about two weeks of the 70 days we've been out here and the boat's done phenomenal and flawless yeah. and I, I can't say it's only it. getting better yeah yeah it's as easier to manage yeah because we know what we're doing now and stuff gets a lot easier yeah anyway guys peace out make sure you hit that like and subscribe if anybody wants to hit that super thanks we do appreciate it um and uh you know uh, leave your comments down below because we sure do appreciate them even if it's just a simple thank you or uh, you know screw you i don't care anyway peace out thank you guys thanks guys bye